Associate Minister of Forestry and Forest Products. Ontario's forestry sector plays a crucial role in supporting thousands of jobs in rural and northern Ontario communities, providing sustainable economic opportunities for families and contributing to Canada's environmental stewardship. However, the Trudeau Crombie carbon tax is placing an undue burden on this industry. This unfair tax is increasing operational costs and determining undermining the sector's competitiveness in both domestic and international markets. Given the essential role that Ontario forestry sector plays in our economy, can the minister please explain how our government plans to address the rising cost imposed by the carbon tax, which threatens jobs and economic growth in this crucial industry? The Associate Minister of Forestry and Forest Products. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you to the great member from Oxford for that question. Great. Speaker, the former Liberal government abandoned the forestry sector and strapped it with taxes and unnecessary red tape. As a result, the sector struggled, but with targeted investments made through our forest sector strategy has mounted a massive return. And now, despite the Liberal carbon tax systematically impacting the industry, it is our government that has extended the gas tax cuts to save the industry over $2.8 million wow. per year. Wow. <laughs> Today, Ontario's forestry sector generates more than $18 billion for manufactured goods and services and supports more than 148,000 direct and indirect jobs. By cutting red tape, by reducing the gas tax, and with targeted investments, Ontario Response. is continuing to support our forestry sector and our northern Ontario workers. Here, here, Thank here. you. Two supplementary, back to the member for Oxford. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. The Trudeau Crombie carbon tax is not only impacting the competitiveness of Ontario's forestry sector, but also threatening the long term sustainability of rural and indigenous communities that rely on these jobs. With higher transportation and fuel costs, mills are struggling, and we risk losing a sector that has been a cornerstone of our economy for generations. An added financial burden of the trudeau Promby carbon tax is making it increasingly difficult for these businesses to stay competitive, leading to potential job losses and economic decline in these regions. How can the trudeau Promby Liberals justify one-size-fits-all carbon tax policy that disproportionately harms the forestry industry? Speaker, can the minister, the associate minister, please tell us what concrete steps our government is taking to provide immediate relief Question. for this vital sector. Associate Minister of Forestry and Forest Products. Thank you, Speaker, and thank you again for the, from the member, or to the member from Oxford for that excellent question. I couldn't agree more. The opposition has no plan for the forestry sector, and we know the Liberals consider, consider Northern Ontario no man's land. Uh. Meanwhile, our government recognizes that building sustainable housing requires an advanced forest sector strategy and innovation. My ministry is well on its way to making Ontario once again a world leader in forestry and forest products. For example, the Ontario government has provided close to $8 million in advanced wood construction projects, and we're investing an additional $60 million over the next three years in forest biomass facilities to turn products like the sawdust from a sawmill into alternative products like fuel, bioplastics, and furniture. Nice. Speaker, it's clear Response. it's our government that is standing behind our forestry sector, promoting innovation and sustainability. Thank you. Thank you. The next question.